Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Life Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what are their thoughts, their feelings and their intentions towards you. So what is it that they want with you? What is it that they, you know, hope to transpire between the two of you? It is going to be a general reading, so please be mindful of that. If you're after a personal tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at what is it that your romantic energy here wants for this connection. of the deck you have the ten of cups um, and I believe it was water energies who also have the ten of cups so there may be some sort of um, connection there okay so some of you may be dealing with a uh, a water sign a Pisces a Cancer or Scorpio here okay um, this is essentially what they want with you okay this idyllic ten of cups scene okay however this I feel like is what's going on with them or what's going on between you and this person this whole connection here so that's interesting there is you know right now your connection or your energies are under the influence of a tower moment and a tower moment is very unsettling it's very chaotic it's essentially something that has thrown your world upside down okay um so there's that storm and what they're hoping is to get that rainbow at the end of the storm here okay um, that light at the end of the tunnel. So they're hoping that the two of you can really overcome whatever difficulties or challenges that are presenting itself in the connection here. I feel like with the Ace of Swords, this person wants to do a lot of communicating, but to me, it almost feels like something or someone is blocking their energies, or perhaps they are holding themselves back from truly speaking their mind. I feel like this is someone who wants a lot of clarity there's so much confusion here with their energies and they want to ask you questions um, and they really want to get to the bottom of things. I feel like this is someone who also wants to express his or herself, but they just can't seem to find the right words. To me, it feels like this is someone who's doing a lot of thinking about you. So if you guys are at like a, at a point where it's a separation, it's a disconnection, it's a breakup or where things are just very challenging very tumultuous very turbulent right now um and you guys may be separated by time and distance or by some sort of disagreement or a fallout or a breakup of some sort um this person wants to they want to get close with you again okay i feel like this is someone who is really finding it hard going through everything that's going on right now and this is someone who just wants to be able to work things out but to me it feels like they just don't know how to do it which is challenging in itself because they want to talk they want to tell you how you how they feel they want to fix things but they don't know how to do it and then every time i feel like they try to fix it they just make it worse here so ace of swords i feel like this is someone who wants to talk i just feel like they really want to reach you and why do I feel it like this way is it because you block this person is it because you've not been responding to this person because I feel like this is someone who really wants to communicate here but there is some sort of blockages maybe you haven't been answering taking their calls or their messages here uh, maybe you've blocked them on social media platform because it's almost like there's this barrier and they're not able to reach you. This person does care about you, the Queen of Pentacles. I do feel like this person is really invested in um, this connection. They're really in emotionally invested in you. They do care for you. Um, I feel like they may have said or done things in the past to hurt you, but I feel like there is remorse. I feel like this is something that it, it hurts them. It really hurts them. So whatever it is that they might have said or done here in the past, I feel like this person is really 
they're carrying the weight of that guilt and that hurt now okay so it hurts them to know that they've hurt you this way here there's quite a lot that's going on here guys there's a lot that's going on here the tower i feel like to them it feels like everything is falling apart like if you guys have broken up or if you guys are uh, you know are arguing or at a disconnect of some sort to them it's affecting everything else it's affecting their social life their work they can't think straight they can't eat properly like it's just they're a mess they're an emotional wreck here they're not doing well without you and they're not coping well either so i also feel like and i say this every time the tower card appears but i feel like it's it's always true you know there's a reason why something you know has come up to the surface here so whatever it is that has caused your tower moment here there's a reason why because essentially i feel like it's trying to you know lightning strikes it hits the tower here the occupant the occupants flee the tower here the tower crumbles okay so it's a chance to renovate because essentially you know the crumbling tower is creating space for you to build something new so this lightning to me it's light is illuminating perhaps shadow aspects of your individual energies or shadow aspects of the relationship so you can work on that because the longer you ig ignore a mounting issue i mean it's only going to worsen okay and it's only going to heighten so that's why you need to address that issue and not pretend it's not there or not think about you know dealing with it later it's better that you do it sooner and i feel like the both of you had maybe certain issues or challenges that presented itself in the connection but you guys didn't necessarily do a lot to address it and this is why you have the tower moment essentially so the universe saying hey you guys you can't go on like this anymore you know you want to work on this relationship you got to fix this you got to fix whatever it is that's making this tower so faulty here um a lot i feel like with the five of wands this person is very fearful that you have other people that are interested in you they know you're beautiful they know you're attractive they know you know you're a stunner here and this person well they're a little bit jealous okay they're a little bit jealous a little bit possessive here and um basically they're shaking in the boots because they know that you know someone could just easily snatch you up especially you know if you're um if you guys are, have gone you know are going through a breakup or if you guys aren't talking they know that you could just easily find someone else and that's what they fear okay there's a lot of it's bringing out a lot of fear and it's it's really making them uneasy because they're scared of losing you they may not easily say this to you but they are this is someone who is scared of losing you but this is someone who i feel like they're also fighting a war within themselves here yeah, honestly because it feels like this person has i feel like their intentions for you are good but i feel like this person may have issues of their own and unfortunately what is happening here is i feel like there's some projection that's happening and i feel like this person say for instance they may have some insecurities which may project itself in the relationship as trust issues or as possessiveness here um jealousy as well um they may also have some emotional trauma or some pain or some unhealed wounds and that also and they also project that onto you or onto this relationship and this is what i feel like is sort of if not the cause of it it's definitely adding and fueling to these um already existing issues here i'm also seeing that your person is a little bit um i feel like yeah the energy does feel hurt their energy does feel wounded and i feel like they do feel very emotionally uh, bonded with you i feel like they've never felt this type of way about anyone before i feel like this person has very strong feelings for you and because their feelings for you are so intense this is why i feel like they're having a hard time grappling with everything because you know yeah they were in relationships maybe they were even married before but gosh they've never felt what they feel for you so this is like new unfamiliar territory and it scares them because they're like what is this you know and why do i feel so strongly here they thought that they knew love not until you came along so this person is having a hard time sort of processing their emotions dealing with their emotions they may be holding back here as well i feel like a part of them is holding back um i feel like there's so much that they want to say to you but they like it's almost like they're sort of tongue tied or they just they don't know how to say it they don't know what to say it it feels like every time they want to try and make things work 
they only somehow worsen the situation. Um, they do want to reach out. They want to communicate here. They want to fix things with you. Um, they understand that you know there are certain things that they have to work on themselves. Um, yeah, I feel like this person is going through something. But essentially, they want this with you. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups here. They want that happily ever after, that divine love, that storybook romance. They want you to be the one you know that walks with them along um, down the aisle. They want you to be the one at the altar. You know, they want to build a family with you, to build a home with you, maybe even have a family pet or two. They want it all with you. They want to watch all the sunrises and all the sunsets with you. They do. But I feel like, sadly, this person is just... They feel so strongly for you, but they just don't know what to do with all of that emotion and how to express it, if that makes sense. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're after a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.